What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a little bit of a house update. Um, I'm gonna, actually going to do some work. I know I told you guys I weren't doing, I wasn't doing any work on the house myself, but I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go in there and drill some holes uh, in the studs that are uh, on the foundation, and we're going to do a little bit extra anchoring. I'm going to show you that, but first, I'm going to show you what I got cooking in the old barrel house cooker. What do you mean? You didn't come to watch me cook? Well, I'm going to show you anyways. Let's see here. Barrel house cooker. Let's see what we got in here. We got some pork and some beef. We got a little bit of Jesse and a little bit of pork chop in there. Hey, didn't that look awesome? I got some hamburgers and bacon cooking on top. I'm not smoking it. I'm cook a slow cook with the charcoal. And I didn't put any uh, uh, wood on there or any pellets for uh, actual smoke flavor. I'm just gonna use the natural briquette flavor i guess you might call it but yeah guys hey if you're into cooking like this like if you guys like outdoor cooking i highly recommend the barrel house cooker i'm not getting paid to say that i've used it you can see my i don't know if you can see my offset way over there i have not used that one time since i've got this barrel house cooker it's just so easy to use and i've got several videos out on it um, if i think about it, i'll put a, a i card up there for you guys um, i actually need to do a final review on thing um, but it's it's awesome a company did send that to me but we're not i'm not getting paid to, to say this i've already put my uh, one video out form that i agreed to and i mean uh, this thing is awesome and you will not regret it uh, you can take it to the creek and back to the trim the trunk i mean it's just it's just a good product but let's go let's go here in the garage and i'll show you guys what i got going on They walk to the test got an old hammer drill um, i borrowed this from uh, my wife's uncle and uh, like i said earlier we did a little drilling into the studs and into the concrete to anchor down the house a little bit better um, i don't think i think more of the better in my opinion but who i don't know anything uh, Okay, guys you can see exactly what i did pretty much i guess um all, all i'm doing is drilling a hole oh it looks like it's probably a good four inches down um through the stud and then into the concrete what i'm doing is just uh, reinforcing the the north side of my house where we get the strong winds during the, the winter and stuff um now they let me let me see if i can find um what they secured the the um, house with let me find one real fast Okay, now, now I found one. Now this is a standard uh, concrete screw um, anchor, whatever you want to call it, that they use here in Oklahoma. And if they, if they use these and not these, and um, also you, they can use the, I can't think what it is, but the, it's the rebar sticking up whenever they do, they pour the concrete itself, it's the rebar sticking up. Then they cut the studs and then slide in the, the, um, the walls and then they put big washers down. The reason why we're going with this route is because we, I didn't personally want them cutting uh, the studs. I don't know if it will affect the structure by any means, but I just didn't want to do that. I wanted just to drill it in. I'm not an expert by any means on this, but this is what they do. They do this as standard out here, probably in most states. Um, I think they go every 16 or 24 inches uh, when they use these, and then when they use these big, these big anchors, they go so so far. But what I'm doing, I'm just taking extra precaution, going around the house, and I'm going to anchor these down. I'll show you guys a little bit of that, then I'll talk to you when I get done. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You just drill it, hammer it, and bolt it down. Nothing to it, really. But I wanted to show, show it to you guys, and I'll, I'll do a little quick. If it, if it don't get dark on, I'll do a little quick uh, update and tell you guys what we got going on in the next few days with the house.
Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you guys um, just doing that little bit of work that I told you I wasn't going to do on the house, and I end up doing it. Hopefully, that's the last work I do. I'll, I'll leave the, uh, the other stuff up to the professionals. But I want to give you guys a quick update. Let me put this little hanger right now. So a quick update, what we got going on with the house. Um, really nothing to show you because you guys already seen all the electric. Um, they finished They finished all the, the rough end electric. And now, now what we got going on, tomorrow the plumbers are coming out to finish their rough end part. And then on Saturday we have um, the insulation guys coming out to insulate it. I'll be here, I think. Uh, and if, obviously if I am, I'm going to film it for you guys. Um, they're doing the blow-in insulation um, and all the walls. Um, what they'll do is they'll blow in all the walls, and I got I got a wall inside the inside the house um, that I want insulated uh, for a sound bear by the kitchen and by the den and all that. So they'll be doing that. They'll be doing the ceiling up here, and in the bonus room upstairs they'll do that. I mean they'll do the whole house except for the attic uh, once the uh, sheetrock people come out in the next. I'm hoping hoping within the next week or two. Um, hopefully the next week um, after they get that. Uh, insulation done we can get the sheetrock people out here then we can give them let them tape it we can do all the other stuff and we can get moving in here before Thanksgiving that's the plan I'm trying to see there's someone coming down the road that's the plan is to get in here by before Thanksgiving I mean the sooner the better we're ready to get in the house ready to show you guys um, we gotta get some garage doors on here but I'm not 100% sure if you do the garage doors after the sheetrock or before it's probably kind of common sense but I'm trying to think I'll find out for sure. You guys will know. Hey, let me know down below. Uh, does garage doors, they go in before the sheetrock or after? I'm guessing after. I could be wrong. Um, the reason why I'm saying after is because they'll have the rails coming up, and I don't see them putting the sheetrock through there. So I'm going to say after. What do you guys think? Before or after? Um, all right, so that's what we got going on the next few days. It's going to be pretty busy in here. Also, we got to do a lot of cleanup. A lot of cleanup before Saturday um, to get the work area clean for the insulation guys. From what I'm watching, uh, from what I've been seeing, needs, they need to have a clean area. Anyone who's working here needs to have a clean area. The people who's leaving this mess, I probably need to get on them. And say, hey, you all need to clean up your mess. But that's the thing about being a self when you're self-contracting. You're not here here all the time. You can't bird dog them. Uh, you can't keep on them uh, to to clean their mess up. You would think by uh, being a professional, they would pick up after themselves. But I'm having issues with. Everyone but the plumber. The plumber hasn't had, they, they clean up all their mess. Um, for the most part, the, le the electricians, they cleaned up most of it, except for a few boxes here and there. The AC guys left all their, I mean, it's, it, it, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Um, I'll clean it up and uh, we'll go from there. But, all right, guys, hope you guys like this little video of me testing out the DeWalt hammer drill. Um, I need to get, I'm, I got to finish up in here before it gets dark. And I want to finish this video before it got dark, obviously. And uh, so, if you guys did like the video, please smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hey, if you guys get a chance, share some of my videos for me. It really helps me out. Um, help, helps the channel. helps helps the family out. And we greatly appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.